Hey guys, it's Hayes from the Install Bay. We're going to talk about the terms high level and low level and try to explain to you what the two mean. So stay tuned. So oftentimes when customers come into the store and they start asking us questions, one of the common questions has to do with high level or low level or a high level or low level adapter or a high to low adapter or anything along those lines that is somehow interfacing with their stereo. Like they have a factory radio, they want to know how to add a subwoofer, we hand them a box and say this is what you need. It can be overwhelming and though we've done videos in the past showing how to hook up a high level to low level adapter, if you don't know what high level means or low level means, yeah, so you're going to hook something up to something you have no idea what it means. The long and short of it is, today we're going to show you what it means. So let's get to it. All right, so what we're looking at here are three aftermarket radios and one Ford Factor radio. Now, the point of showing you the backs of these radios is to show you where the high and low level outputs are. So, for example, on the aftermarket radio, these are the only ones that are going to have low level, and that would be these here. These are the RCA outputs. This particular radio has six RC outputs, front, rear, sub. This one has four RC outputs where you have front and then rear slash sub. And then this one just has a single RC output, which is going to be the subwoofer or rear. Now, these are all low level. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook these up to a voltmeter so we can show you what we, show you the difference between low level and high level. Now factory radios you notice has no RCAs. That's just going to be straight up speaker wires which is going to be high level. An aftermarket radio also has a high level output and that would be the speaker level outputs that are here on the plug. But you don't have to use these to hook up an amplifier because you have the low level. Alright so we have our factory radio here playing a 1000 Hertz test tone. We have our aftermarket radio here playing a 1000 Hertz test tone through the RCAs, speaker level, RCAs. We have the two meters set up here. This one is reading the high level, this one is reading the low level. As you can see, this one's up at 11 volts AC, this one's at 2.8 volts AC. This is what a normal amplifier is usually gonna take, somewhere between 0.5 all the way up to five volts. Whereas you can see, this would be way too much if five volts is where it maxes out, this will overdrive it. So this is called high level. Now in order to get it down to a signal that the amplifier can take, we're gonna use one of these, which is a high level to low level adapter, which we have set up right here. So what we'll do is we'll take the RCA out. We'll plug it into our high level to low level. And now you can see it's a more, it's a smaller number, it's closer to this low level. And this would be something an amplifier could take on its input section. So now you know why it's called a high level and a low level. Well, there you go. That's why it's called high level and why it's called low level and why they call it a high level to low level adapter. Seems pretty yeah. simple, huh? Yeah. Yeah? yeah, I know, right? Sometimes it's the simple things that drive us crazy. Yeah, anyways, uh, you guys subscribe, please, if you like us. Uh, we do this how many days? Five days a week. Where can they find us? Yeah, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below and I will get to you, or answer them for you, I should say. You guys have a great night, and we will see you later next time. Bye.